um, let me let me go then into um, um, the study, the arrive study. Um, very simple. Uh, if you go back to the doctor's aspirin study, you know, years ago, uh, the question was aspirin for primary prevention. And what the study really showed that for primary prevention, aspirin would be justified if there is a high risk factor profile. This was basically what the study showed, despite doctors like to take aspirin a lot. But anyway, in this study here, uh, the so-called ARRIVE study, uh, is a study uh, of uh, 12,000 patients who actually were considered to be at moderate risk uh, for cardiovascular disease. And, uh, and in terms of how they describe this uh, moderate, they had about uh, two to four risk factors uh, or conventional risk factors, and the 10-year risk was 10 to 20%. So it was moderate high risk. And the patients were actually randomized on aspirin uh, versus placebo. And uh, just to make the long story short, no difference at all. With the rate of events was very, very low. I think we are doing so many things that it's hard to prove. There's one issue I would like to ask you because you wrote a paper about it, which is the, the aspirin that they gave was actually quoted, enteric quoted aspirin. Do you think it works? Uh, that's a great question, and as you know, I published in Jack uh, yeah, I know. a paper that uh, the enteric coating impairs the absorption of aspirin. And uh, I thought, obviously I, I'm biased, but I thought it was a clever little pharmacodynamic study. But in fact, if we go back a few decades, that work had been done before. So it, it, it's known that the enteric coating does impair the pharmacokinetics, the pharmacodynamics of aspirin. Does that matter in chronic daily dosing? That's harder to say. But for sure, in the short term, over the course of a few days, it takes a while for the enteric coating to kick in. And in some patients, it never fully does. Anyway, in this study, Irina, basically, um, they look at bleeding, they look at mortality, they look at ischemia, they look at everything, no difference. Seven years of follow-up. So here's my question, going back to primary prevention yeah. that you mentioned. Uh, you know, aspirin is not doing too well in this, uh, in this meeting. Well, we have, at least at this meeting, presented two uh, well-conducted huge studies of primary prevention with aspirin Diabetes in various populations. Yes, I think that um, if we can pull all data that we know and try to find out to do this sort of like subgroup analysis and find out the settings, non-controlled, poorly controlled diabetics versus well-controlled, hypertensive at different levels, different stages, concomitant disease, we can come actually with identification, possibly, hopefully, of those settings in primary prevention that would certainly need um, aspirin. And then, if necessary, which obviously would be an ideal world, to run a randomized control study in that setting. Uh, but I think that we have enough data now to try and understand this problem because I would not dismiss aspirin uh, for primary prevention like that. I would say, Irina, if, uh, just answering or responding to you, something is happening that is decreasing the event rates significantly. Yes. Yeah. And any drug, and including yeah. aspirin, I think aspirin is, very, is, a, is a great drug, so we don't want to dismiss. But, but, but the role of aspirin in primary prevention uh, he has a little bit of a shake-up these days, even in peripheral vascular disease and so forth. In so, overall population. So in the overall population. I think yeah. what's happening is other things are doing the job mm -hmm. and yeah. the incidence rates are decreasing. And I think we are facing something that perhaps before aspirin was more of a protagonist. Well, there's a lot more statin use, for example. Yeah. yeah. A lot of cities have smoking bans I these think there's a change, and, and yeah, I think this is why... We are struggling with aspirin as a second wave, and we, it's not doing what we are supposed to or thinking should do, and I think it's, times have changed a little bit. 